Some people who have COVID-19 may not even know it because they aren't exhibiting symptoms, but they could still be spreading it to others. That's according to recent studies cited by the CDC. It's part of the reason why Rhode Islanders are now being encouraged to wear face coverings should they leave their house to help stop the spread. But those recent studies have been concerning to healthcare workers who worry about putting their patients in danger. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Loshudo has one nurse's take on the situation and what she hopes to see happen. Sheena joins us now with more. At the assisted living facility where Maureen Flanagan works, she says they're doing everything right. For a while now, no visitors, everyone's wearing masks, plus employees are screened every day when they come in. But because you can't always see the signs of COVID-19, she's worried that's not enough. Elderly and vulnerable. That's how registered nurse Maureen Flanagan describes the population she cares for. We're all still coming to work every day and we don't want to be bringing anything in here. She's the director of nursing at the Franciscan Missionaries of Mary Assisted Living Facility in North Providence. But the population is the greatest generation and they seem to be able to get through anything. So we're just trying to channel some of their courage. Flanagan says everyone who lives and works there is in good shape, at least to their knowledge. That's why she's concerned. You know, we don't want to be walking around thinking we're okay, even though we're taking all the necessary precautions. We just never know. As testing capabilities are improving, she feels healthcare workers should be offered a test if they feel they need one, even without symptoms. You know, I couldn't stand to see kind of how things were being handled because it didn't, it just didn't make sense to me and nobody that I was speaking to as well. Especially if they work with the vulnerable. But at least start with prioritizing the people on the front lines so that we're not continuing to carry it and disperse it and transmit it to people without knowing, you know, dedicate sites for healthcare personnel if that's ever possible. According to the Department of Health, the majority of people being tested are healthcare workers. They're being prioritized, but right now only people with symptoms are being tested. A spokesperson tells us that's partly because for a long time there wasn't enough resources and also because the test is less accurate on people who don't have symptoms. According to the Department of Health, 257 of the state's positive COVID-19 cases are healthcare workers. That makes up about 18% of the state's total. I'm Sheena Loshuto, Eyewitness News.